At the bite configuration step, make sure that the jaws are correctly positioned in the articulator by using the control points. To help you to do this, there are a few useful tools. Using the interocclusal clearance tool to open the bite will ensure that the given value in millimeters is the minimum one in static occlusion. Bear in mind that in a full coverage anterior deprogrammer, the interocclusal clearance must accommodate the minimum thickness of the splint material. Therefore, the minimum vertical opening to disclude all teeth may be more than found in jigs or anterior bite blocks. The teeth outlines on the default plane can help you adjust position by aligning the model with the outlines. The tilt and height position of the jaws can be adjusted by using the control points. By left-clicking on either jaw, you can activate it and change its position individually. Note that changing the jaw relations should be done extremely carefully. When satisfied, use the Lock Jaw Position tool to lock the jaws in position. Clicking the 2D cross-section tool will allow you to check if interocclusal clearance is sufficient for the splint. To do this, look at the model from the top and draw a line so that you can see both sides of the dentition in the cross-section panel. Use the control points to move or rotate the plane if needed. Now, find the narrowest point of the cross-section and take a measurement to check it. Then, run articulation. As the jaws are moving, it may turn out that the bite may not be opened enough to accommodate for the minimum thickness required. If you need to make any changes, unlock the jaw position tool, apply new values, once again lock the jaw position, run the articulation, check again with the cross-section tool before moving on.